allies in capes. You're almost there with that energy. A rose, who are sneaky. What was that? Synth pop? Uh, it was it was the boss. Das boss. Das boot. Das boss. Join Chris and Roger as they entertain the geeky. Guys, what's going on? What up, Chris? Roger, bring the energy up. Uh, um, so we still have a super special guest, Tony Straczynski here. Say hi, Tony. Try My to say that three is... times fast. So I should say hi three times fast? No, your name. <laughs> Just your name. Tony, Tony Straczynski. Tony Straczynski, Tony Straczynski, Tony It's not fair, it's his name. Yeah. I've gotten good at it over yeah, the last you, years. You've had time to practice. Yeah, you know, we didn't. Like, we just met you outside. Yeah, we and we're like, yeah, come on. We were like, come on in the show, talk about some shit. Look at what we can do. Look look, look at our mics. Yeah. I am wowed by your mics. So Tony, Tony's a big Star Trek fan. Yeah. Right? Like, honest, honestly. He, I am. He's, he's, he's up a there, Trekkie. He's up there with, with, with me and uh, the one who will not be named on, online yeah. uh, in, in, in our fandom of Star Trek. And uh, I want to see if Tony rages like I rage. What's your thoughts on on uh, on, on on what JJ has done to this fucking franchise? Well, he started out good, but then he fucked up that landing hard. There we go. I'm actually going to go see that final movie, uh, not this Friday, but next Friday for the first time. You haven't seen Beyond yet? I have not. I, I, if you would have told me that, I would have brought you my copy. I'm okay. And then you could have burned it. I'm more okay with that. Burned it, like, as like, in steal it. Like you could have burned it and stole it and had your own copy. You oh, should I not thought pay... we were going no, for no, fire. You no. shouldn't pay money for Star Trek Beyond. I'm not. I paid I paid money twice for that fucking thing. I'm going to go see it for free at uh, the Science Center. I don't even know. At the Science Center. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, fuck it, watch it on Omnimax. Yeah, fuck it, watch Whatever. Star Trek that Beyond. That is where I'm going to watch it. <laughs> yeah, watch Star Trek Beyond and Omnimax, and you can see how Beastie Boys saves the fucking galaxy. Fucking God. That's because those Spoilers. guys are old. Whatever. They're dying. Whatever. Fuck. Fuckity fuck, man. So, so, But Patrick Stewart's coming back to Star Trek. That, supposedly, from what I hear. Yeah, and we don't really know what he's going to be doing, though. Yeah. Uh, me and Jason were talking about it earlier. He's like, it's not going to be a sequel to TNG. And I'm like, who fucking cares? If it is, it is. I really don't. If, if, if Patrick Stewart's coming back to Star Trek and he's not playing Jean-Luc Picard, I don't care. I don't want him in Star Trek then. Because no matter what he does... I'm gonna be going. You should just fucking be a Picard. What if you What if you played a uh, an assimilated Picard? That's you mean fine. Locutus? Yeah, Locutus, I'm fine correct. with that. What I'm not okay with is just bringing him into hell a new show. I want one of these. Is that cool? Yeah. Well, Thank you. Tony. I brought That's buds for my buds. Oh, you're um, the best. I I don't want him to to play start like like go back to the franchise, play a different character, and helm a new show. Just fucking play Picard. I don't really care if it's TNG or if it's like. Old man Picard and his adventures as fucking admiral at this point. Fair enough. I mean, we've got we've got great books that continue TNG. Like the books are phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't need more TNG in my life. The books have done a fantastic job with that. But if you're gonna bring Stuart, Stuart back, fucking bring Picard back. Here's my counter thought. What if we put him in a mask, Patrick Stewart as an alien? Well, then I just feel like I'm getting Simon Pegg in Star Wars. Yeah. Then why make a big deal out of it? Just fucking show up be like, ha look at me. Ah. I don't know how much of a deal they're actually making. I think it's the fan base that's making a big deal out of, I guess, Patrick Stewart going in to talk to Paramount or whoever is owning it now. So. Well, and, the, and I know back when Tarantino announced that he was going to direct a Star Trek movie, mm-hmm. the Patrick Stewart said he would reprise his role as Picard. Yeah. If it was a Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. Because it's his dream to work with Tarantino, which you're Patrick Stewart. You're a knight. You You can work for whoever you want. Right. You really shouldn't have dreams like that. You should be able to pick up the phone and go, Tarantino. You're fucking Professor Xavier. Let's fucking make a movie together. Yeah, right. I mean, come on. You should be able to do whatever the fuck you want at this point. Um, And he said he would reprise his role as as, as Jean Luc Picard for a Tarantino movie. So uh, maybe that's where they're going. Like maybe it's hard to say. I haven't heard much about Tarantino in the the Patrick Stewart rumors. I've just heard people saying that Patrick Stewart is possibly going to come back to Star Trek. I just want my Captain Worf show. Damn it! Oh, well, that's what we all want. But I just want more Patrick Stewart in my life. I mean, I don't know. I saw Moby Dick. It wasn't very good. Go watch Wolverine Origins. What? It's good. I do need to. They're not watch. Wolverine Origins. What the I'm fuck? fucking tripping. I will cut your hair off. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Logan. I said Origins because I'm thinking the Origins comic book. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I watched Logan the other night. <coughs> Lo- what the fuck? Yeah. X Men Origins Wolverine was awful. Yeah, dude. That's the one where Ryan Reynolds yeah, was... played Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's and Cyclops story. a bit. And Cyclops yeah. at the same time. And Bakara. Yeah. Or yeah. Baraka. 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 Yeah, yeah. Baraka. Baraka. Yeah, because... Fuck, Why not? Fucking Fox. Fucking they were like, they were like Fox. I think we've got the movie rights to this. If not, oh well. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, let's, 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 let's have, a, I have a great idea. All right, I'm a Fox executive. I'm going to make Deadpool in my Wolverine movie, but let's not fucking use Deadpool. Let's just call him Deadpool. Because that's what they did. It was bad. It, you know they should have called him? Not Deadpool. I remember... Uh, seeing the posters for that movie and being like oh god this kind of looks weird and i did not like the idea of ryan reynolds playing deadpool but now you can't see anyone else doing it no i'm totally happy with him playing deadpool but when it's deadpool uh when it's actual deadpool correct yeah i tried to watch deadpool 2 the other night and um didn't go so well why did you have to get off the toilet i did i did no uh um, torrents, torrents have gotten really shitty lately. I'm just gonna say, you need to get better torrents then. They've just gotten really shitty, like Neptune and 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 uh, and uh, what's the fucking name of that program I'm using? Cody. Cody, yeah, yeah. Cody's not doing so hot with the torrents lately. Yeah, I'm it's... not. Ad- I'm not advocating illegal downloading of movies. I'm just saying it's illegal streaming, first of all. Yeah, I'm not advocating it. I'm just saying, Cody. Get your shit together. You're free, and I want you to work right. Um, so Get what you pay for. You know what's funny is there's actually there's a program called Showbox that is phenomenal, and I started using that years ago, and you can use it for TV, movies, whatever, and it'll do stuff that's still in theaters. Uh, again, we're not advocating that, but Showbox.tv is yeah, that doesn't work on my Xbox, so. fucking phenomenal. No, it, it's so you get it on Android. I think you can get it on uh, Apple products too, but if you just go get a Raspberry Pi – Load Android up on that. I think we you can download it that right shit. There. Yeah, you just sh- you gave too much away. No, no. People no. need to know. Mm. They need to know. Mm. But no, Showbox can't is fantastic. stop the signal. Can't stop the signal. You stab me with a sword now. A fucking sword. No, it's uh there. There's a couple of good programs out there, but I do like to pay money for these things because people work on them. And you should. Like I have no problem. Like with, I have no. I, I've said this before. Whenever I watch, whenever I. St- stream a movie without paying for it i normally end up buying it on blu-ray just so just because but i just don't want to wait like i don't want to go to the theaters and see deadpool because we all know how i feel about fucking theaters but i don't want to wait for it to come out on blu-ray i know it's only two months but i don't want to wait yeah it's not it's not long it's not long but i don't want to wait do you remember so i think the movie when i first realized how fast things came to uh it was vhs at the time was fucking with the original independence day I love that, that, movie. That, took, that took a while to come out on. on it didn't movie, take yeah. that long yeah, though. Did. Like that was a fast turnaround back then. I mean, it was still like six months. Yeah, but back then I felt they, like they it took like it a year. Time. It took like a year for a movie to come out back then, dude. Back in the fucking nineties, and yeah. they'd be like, "Oh, we got to do whatever it takes to make this, uh, to take this film and turn it into VHS film instead." I don't know what the process is. I'm not that that well versed in it. Um, but yeah, that one, I felt like it came so fast. Like, I remember seeing the movie in theaters, and then a couple of months later, it just being there. And now we're at a point where, it, basically, when it's done showing in theaters, you can own oh, that yeah. shit. Alright, so, it spent, it came out in 96, yep. on, on July 4th, or July 3rd. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, November 22nd, 1996, is when the Laserdisc came out. On November 22nd, Laserdisc and VHS. Same Boom. Day. Uh, fucking laser disc. I was about to say that as well. Laser disc. Laser Who remembers disc. The r- laser disc? Laser disc were awesome. Yeah. The, the fucking record sized yeah. DVDs. Do you yeah. realize it was they, it was six weeks, thirty million dollar marketing. They spent thirty million dollars marketing Independence Day. Oh yeah, they they I believe threw all kinds of money at Independence Day. Just for no no hold on that thirty million dollar marketing campaign was just for the VHS release. That's amazing. Wow. Like that that's not for the theatrical release. That is for the VHS release. It makes me feel bad I never bought it on VHS. Oh fuck, I did. Yeah, it came out July second. Yeah, so that was that that was pretty quick. That was only a four month turnaround. That's what I'm saying. It was fast. Uh, but so- that was that was the fastest one that I had ever experienced at that point. And I guess maybe it was just me being a child mm-hmm. because you know I was a kid. So you see something that. Uh, you thought took like a year before, and now it's a couple of months goes by, and you're like, "Fuck! I just saw that in theaters, and here it is. I can buy it on Laserdisc." <laughs> yeah, I just had that feeling. Uh, God, what was it? Uh, I want to say a year or so ago, I was saw a movie, and then I want to say within two months, I want to say maybe it was Force Awakens that like I oh, saw yeah. it, and then I was like, "How is that already out on Blu-ray?" And I feel like I was waiting for another movie that came out 
like before that one to come out on Blu-ray. Well, the so. Last Jedi, I didn't even know that fucking had come to DVD. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that that yeah. that piece of shit hit theaters and then decided to go to DVD. I, I'm like, are almost, you a straight uh, to DVD movie? Should have been. It should have. I know uh, Jurassic Park is. Uh, Jurassic Park, I use Jurassic Park for a lot of things in my life. Yes, you do. It's uh, understandable. Uh, Jurassic Park hit theaters June 10th, 1993. It came out on VHS October 4th, 1994. Yeah. A full, uh, more than a year later. That's what I'm saying. And it's also the fifth best-selling VHS tape ever. Really? Yes. I can see that. Do you I, have the number one out of I, curiosity? I, uh, you know what? Uh, that's, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, this is, this is Google why, faster, Roger. This is, this is why Roger lives his life around fucking Jurassic best Park. VHS tapes. Hold on, best VHS, best sales. VHS tapes. Tapes. Top pace. You keep talking. All right. This is going to take him in here, because I want to get the list. I yeah, he's, get the he's list. trying to fuck with this thing. Fun um, fact about Jurassic Park, that shoot. was the first PG-13 movie I was able to see, because my parents weren't going to let going to get out of not letting me see the dinosaur movie when that came out. That was the first adult book I ever read. First adult book you ever read? Yeah, like like the first <laughs> book over 200 pages cuz I was in no, third okay. grade when it came when when the when the movie came out and before the movie came out, I uh I read I had to read the book. I I the first one that I read was fucking Godzilla based on the 1996 classic with Matthew Broderick. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was Go Aliens versus Predators since we're all sharing. Alien, that when did that come out though? Aliens versus Predator was. I know the movie was like 04. Oh no, I'm talking about the original book. Oh, he's talking book book. Oh, yeah, right. the book. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, the book, the one that's actually worth watching. Gotcha. Yeah. No, uh, the book was good because. Yeah. It was good. S- somebody that cared did it. Right. Yeah. Well, they they were just trying to shit out versus movies at that point though because Freddy versus Jason had come out a year mm-hmm. or two before that. Did all right. Um, so they what were like, well, was, what can we do next? What I think it was that hurted that movie the most was the PG-13 rating. Uh, yes. Like, you're talking about Aliens, one of the scariest movies of all time, Predator. I don't know, it's not so much the goriest movie all time, but it's pretty damn gory when you really look at it. And you're going to slap a PG-13 rating? Like, why don't you just show a black screen at that point in time? Well, so. the reason they did it was so kids could go see it. Well, yeah. But I you mean, know what? Kids, Kids. You, get in the, you get in the movies anyways. Just give us a movie we can all enjoy. Did you ever use a fake ID to get a new movie? Uh, no, I had my parents. I So I used a fake ID to get a new movie okay. one time. I got it. I'll we're going to be later. the top 10 because it's right. the top 30. Do we need a drum roll for uh, this? No, I want you guys to guess. One, two, three, four. Five, all right, Titanic, seven, Titanic is one of them. Oh, yeah, that's a good that's question. That's probably number one. Uh, no, that is number one. Five. I the thought Isaac Jurassic Park five. was. So Jurassic Park did better than Titanic? No, Jurassic... Uh, this is after, like... Uh, so when Jurassic Park came out, it was it was the top five. Oh, okay. And now it's because... Titanic came out? Like, Well, there's a lot that came out um, that had... So how do we not have a definitive list? This it's... is this is from Wikipedia. Okay. List of the best-selling <laughs> so films. So it's always right. Hold on. This is the list of the best-selling films. Just, just run through the top the ten States. real fast. All right. Hold on. i got to get fucking back down there. Number 10, Pocahontas. Ooh, okay. Oh, really? Have you ever heard the wolf cry? Cried uh, the blue corn number movie. nine, Toy Story. I can I see that. that. Yeah. Number eight, Jurassic Park. Ooh. Number seven, Independence Day. Damn right. Which tied with Beauty and the Beast at number six. That makes me a little sad. Um, Titanic, Aladdin. Aladdin's... F- Dude, mm. these fucking Disney movies are so goddamn good, though. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh. I believe that. Number two. The Lion King. I and saw that. the number one top-selling VHS in the United States of all time is the original Star Wars trilogy. I see. Came that out. doesn't surprise me either. Oh, yeah. Came out in, the first box release was 1982, and it went through 2000 before they stopped making it. So they're lumping all of them together? Yeah, the original. Because well, yeah, it was because a box set. It was a box set. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the original release and then the uh, special editions, because I feel like that's almost cheating. I mean, Everything's well, that's, that's like that's two fair. different releases there. That's fair. And I'm pretty sure the original release outsold the special edition. I goddamn hope so. The last one on this list is The Little Mermaid. Man, Disney's all over this. Little Mermaid, Aladdin, King yeah, of Thieves. Yeah, they have a fucking license Bambi, to print money. Bambi, Pinocchio, Fantasia, The Return of Jafar, Lion King 2, 101 Dalmatians, Cinderella. Why is this a surprise to you? Like, they're fucking everywhere. You know what's really disgusting is how much some of those VHSs are worth now these days. Oh, I oh, know, yeah, right? No, it's insane. I have The Little Mermaid. 
Like the actual with little, the dick on it. Yeah, nice. With the dick. I, I found out about that one. I was like, I gotta dig that bitch out of a box and check. And yep. Well, Thriller is still the best selling vinyl of all time. What is Thriller? Thriller. Sixty five million copies since nineteen eighty two. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. That motherfucker still probably sells copies too. Yeah. Like to this day. Yeah. Well, you know when he died. Probably even in vinyl. It, oh no, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Even in vinyl. Um, in our digital world. E. Vinyls are back at uh, Best Buy. Apparently, Christ. like people really super it's, like vinyl. It's a popular thing right now, which is cool. I yeah. dig it. I dig it. Jesus, it makes Christ. me seem cool that I still got my mom's old record player. The fucking E. T. on eBay. E. T. the 1982 VHS copy, 230 bucks. Jesus. Little Mermaid, 1989, 300. Fuck. Word on the web: If you had this unopened sealed VHS, Disney could get you 300. The Jungle Book, 1967. Anyone want to take a guess? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Fuck. Eight. It's for for a 1991 Black Diamond Edition copy of the of the Jungle Book. Oh, it's the Black Diamond Edition. Uh, well, that's all the VHSs I think it, I from back yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. I wonder if that has to do with the the fact that uh, Jungle Book just had a re-release. I don't know. This... Oh, probably. Yeah. Ooh. Is we got a Beauty and the Beast on there? Yeah, that was trash. Hold on. Oh yeah, I mean. I've Snow White and the Seven this. Dwarfs, a thousand bucks for the 1994 classic edition. For Fuck, charity I have or that. for open? Uh, for it just says get a grand for a well kept 1994 masterpiece collection. Well oh, so you're not actually you're looking at eBay right now. No, I'm looking at what what it's going for. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Fifteen hundred dollars. How? That movie's not even that good. It started I off. It's might a need to go copy. Drop something on eBay. It, it's a sealed copy. It had one nineteen ninety six. Not second hundred name. Started off at two hundred. Now it's escalated over fifteen hundred. Fucking Dumbo, three grand. Well, yeah, Dumbo's getting ready to get remade by motherfucking Tim Burton too. Cinderella, fifty six hundred for the black diamond copy in perfect condition. These Holy all shit. need to be cherry though, correct? Yes. Uh, this is an unopened edition of The Fox and the Hound. Oh, God. That's Ten a deep grand. Cut. That movie's so good, though. Aladdin. S- Aladdin. A black diamond copy of Aladdin. In, in, in good condition. $10,000. I've got it. $10,000. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Being a kid in the 90s was so good. Hold on. It still is. The black diamond edition of the Disney masterpiece has sold for almost twenty k on eBay. You could buy a shimmering golden ballroom gown with all that dough. That is Beauty and the Beast, sold for seventeen thousand dollars on eBay. I've got that too. The Black Diamond. Adi- yeah, fuck, fuck. Think, well, think, think of think think of how many of these movies are sitting in a fucking box in your basement right now. Here's the thing, Chris. We need to go in on like a deal right now because we can't both drop our copies at the same time. That is going to destroy <laughs> this market. <laughs> we need to like set it up so like you like one of us drops one, and then as soon as that. That thing sells. When's your listing we drop the, Yeah, exactly. We drop another one. Yeah. Fucking The Lion King, 200 bucks. Aladdin, 275 if it's just a regular Aladdin. Like, this Bambi, 600 This is insane. So, who, who the fuck? Time out. No, no, no. Disney people, Roger. No. Have you what? met them? I, I have. My wife's a fucking Disney person, but she's not dropping $300 on a fucking well, VHS Well, no, because copy. you'd be divorcing her. Well, have you met the people who go to Disney World? Because they drop more than that to go there oh, on I, a hot dog. I get that. I'm on gonna, a hot dog. I'm going to spend a shit ton of money when we go to Disneyland or Disney World, whichever one's fucking going to. But it's a VHS. We we useless have these technology. Mo- we have these movies on Blu-ray and DVD now, and it's better. Why? You're paying for the collector's aspect of it. Why would we pay um, fifteen hundred dollars for a first appearance of a superhero? And uh, we can't justify doing the same thing with this DVD that, or with this VHS that is essentially um, the same thing. Um, because it's, it's the a same comic thing. Book. It makes sense in my head. In I your head, but I just, it. I just, I just told no, you in, in a way that it would make Disney sense person. to you. Right? No. Here's the thing. <laughs> if, if, if if you were like, hey, here's the first, here's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. You can get it for twelve hundred bucks. I'm all in. Here's here's a fucking copy of. Disney VHS, which, by the way, you have to have a VC fucking R to play. You don't have one. I mean, I do, but that's okay, besides so shut the point. Up. The VCRs are hard, getting getting hard to find. No, they're not. Actually, they still make them. What the? No, they bullshit. Yes, they do. They're. I used to hawk those made. things at Best Buy. I was one of the few people who knew where the VCRs were. <laughs> I'm going to take you to our VCR section now. You sound like a sleazy fucking salesman. That's well, amazing. To be honest, it was our VCR. We only had one. 
Oh, there was one? <laughs> there was one product. And it mostly was a VCR design, so you could copy your VCR onto a Blu-ray. Oh, oh that's that amazing. Sense, <laughs> I love that. Shit. That actually makes sense. But, you know, you don't need that no more. That's like the finest fucking piece of technology ever. A VCR? No, that copies your movies to Blu-ray. Hey, how sweet would it be to fucking put the right Star Wars movies on Blu-ray? Uh, they did that. When? Uh, you can, well, Roger, are we going to have to go out back and I'll smash this beer bottle and we're going to fight over this? On, on, DV, on DVD, you can buy the original Star Wars. You can? Yeah. Since like when? The, the non-special edition. They released a very limited supply of them. Are you these? Can, are the, you sure this isn't that one are guy these who's the, at the conventions? No. That, that are rack? these the $60 you, fucking box sets? They're more than 60 bucks. They're fucking expensive, but they released it. You could buy them at Walmart. It was the... It wasn't the original theatrical run. It was that 1990s polished release, but it wasn't the special editions. So it was Han it was, still shot first. Han, Greedo never shot. Yeah. Um, it was the original Star Wars on on DVD. But they that's not. Them, they released them for a very, very limited so supply. So that's, that's not what I said, though. What I said was it would be awesome to take the, your original Star Wars VHS and put that shit on fucking Blu-ray. Disney's working on it. I don't know what Disney's and working here's the thing, on. Even if I don't know what they're working on. Money, Chris. Yeah, That's what you, well, I mean, I know they've no, been doing that. Because if you take a VCR, a, a VHS, and you convert it to Blu-ray, without you having the, the technological advantages, like the whole computer programs to clean everything yeah, up, like it's just going to be a shitty copy. It's that just whole be a, fucking machine that does it for you? It doesn't do it. It doesn't upscale it like it should. How does it do, Tony? Um... Well, I mean, Roger is correct. It's just going to be VHS quality. It's just a one-for-one one copy. I'll it take it. It tries to do what it can, but, you know, VHS was really, frankly, kind of a shitty format for movies. It and was. especially oh, when you're yeah. talking about VHS, that's what? How many years old? Like, unless at you're... At least 20 at yeah, this point. Yeah, unless you're busting that yeah, thing you literally can't out find of the shrink VHS now, Cause, cause it's going to look kind of crap. Uh, Titanic was 98 and... 96. Was it? Yeah. Titanic was 96? I yeah. Titanic was 98. No, it was like 96, 97. I thought it was a freshman. Hold Mm-mm. on. When it come, hold on. When it come out on VHS? Because that's what oh, matters. Oh, when it came, yeah. that I don't know. That's what matters. That hold I on. don't know. Because that was, that was that fucking, and it I was a if you two could, VHS yeah, movie. Yeah, I say, I don't even know if you could do that on this product because it's a two VHS. So I don't know if it's So could, you'd uh, be putting one in, doing one, then taking and it. And I don't know if that thing is that smart to be This is time to for your intermission. <laughs> Is that the what it actually did? I never watched it on VHS. It did something along the lines of that. Time, yeah. uh, time for tape two or something like that. Yeah. The film came out in 97. Uh, okay, the, that's the what VHS I thought. The VHS was released in 98. So we were both right there. Um, no, because you said 96. I said 96 or 97. We um, can record it, it or we can like, play it back. It looks like uh, VHS like tapes pretty much stopped around 2000. Well, yeah. Um. Do you remember? Uh, hold on. Do you remember how expensive it was to get a fucking VHS? Yeah, it was like thirty. It was bucks. like thirty dollars to get a piece of shit, and you could get DVDs like at the same time sitting right next to it because the two sat next to each other for mm-hmm. a moment, and you could get a DVD for the same price, but you had fucking bonus features and all this bullshit. And guess what? You didn't have to do sit there through fucking previews. Do you remember how gratifying that was the first time you watched a DVD? No, because I like previews. I don't. In fact, that was my favorite thing about buying DVDs at Blockbuster because they were rental copies. Yeah. And you had to sit through the fucking previews. You did have to sit through the previews. I, I like previews. God, I miss Blockbuster. You, oh, we all do. But you know what my favorite part about DVDs versus VHS was? Hmm. Chapter skipping. Oh, yeah. Chapter skipping I, is nice. You want to watch one scene in this movie because it's the best part and skip all of the boring parts? Boom. Chapter skipping. don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sh- yeah, higher, mightier than thou. Yeah, Roger just we uses need to watch YouTube some for it terrible now. Terrible movies where will, you just skip to good parts. I will watch terrible movies all day, beginning to end. Well, you can watch those movies because like, I'm going to skip those. Like, like, <laughs> Roger doesn't want to live most of his life. He just I, wants to fucking I feel exist. Like if I'm going to put a fucking movie in, I'm going to watch it from beginning to end. It's not like I'm channel surfing. I'm like, oh, Jaws is on. Look, oh, it's midway through. No, I don't put Jaws in the DVD player and skip right to Quint, Hooper, and Brody going out on the fucking boat. I watched the damn movie from beginning to end. That's because it's a good movie. Even shitty movies. Fucking Black Dynamite. Oh, never mind. That's a good movie. Um, Go on. Name a shitty movie that I like. I don't know off the top There's of my head. There's a shit ton of shitty Frogs with Sam Elliott. I, I watched hope that you don't ed- edit that pause out, Chris. No. I don't no. want to sit there. My Woody. Uh, Frogs with, with Sam Elliott. That's a shitty fucking movie. I'll watch it from beginning to end every time I put it in. I don't put it in very often. Because it's not a good movie. But when I do, I pay respects. I watch it from beginning to end. No point in skipping to the good shit. As your rival, 
I am challenging this. Uh, I, I don't have a glove to throw down here, but you have a hat. You I, can tip the hat. I I will. I'm taking my keys off the hat, putting it on, and I am officially tipping it to you, and challenging you to watch this movie that I have never seen before at my house. And I'm going to make sure you sit through the entire thing. Okay. All right. Done. Let's Which movie? Frogs? To be determined. You, you, you he what? specifically said frogs, so I will accept that as the weapon of this duel. Oh, shit. You could have said Indiana Jones 4. Oh, Because that would have so been worse. Bad. <laughs> that so bad. Been worse. That would require me to acknowledge that movie <laughs> was released. <laughs> I own two copies of that movie. Ah, fuck, man. Do you know I, why I own two it's like four more than you Because you want to kill yourself? No, because the first one skipped at a certain part. So I had to go out and buy it. So it worked. So he could finish the movie. <laughs> Here, I was thinking that you were going to use the disc to slit your wrists. No. I, I, as much as I hate Indiana Jones 4, I, I have this weird thing. If, if I start buying a movie collection, I have to finish it off. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's a reason I own, I own all the J.J. Star Trek movies, because I have, I have invested in Star Trek to where I'm buying all the Star Trek movies. And that's just how it is. If, if I start I a feel collection, sorry for you, Roger. If I start a so collection, Roger. it has to be complete. Well, no, it's that collector's mindset, but he doesn't understand why the Disney people can do that with the original VHS. But I'm not going out and buying fucking VHSs. Point. Like, I have not bought the new Star Wars trilogy on, on Blu-ray or DVD yet because I'm waiting for them to release the box set with, with the three. They've got two box sets out? No, 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 no. I have I have the, the Blu-ray prequel and original and special edition trilogy. I'm waiting for the new trilogy to be released as a box oh, set. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So that way I just have it all right there because i've got the first have, six do you have rogue one yeah i have a rogue one no oh, okay yeah i got rogue one and when fucking solo comes out i'm gonna fucking buy solo sorry yeah whatever i won't i'm glad um, you said that not me yeah, i won't even solo, watch that when shit solo comes out i'll buy solo i have actually yet it's, to see solo it's gonna be the last star wars story that we get so it's fucking <laughs> just might as well finish it off it's gonna be the last star wars story you believe that in your heart of hearts no come on i believe in my heart of hearts is uh they're just going to stop making Star Wars movies. That would be amazing. I want to believe so that we can get that Obi-Wan that they keep talking about. No. No. The, I, With Ewan I, McGregor? I yeah. don't want... Wrap this trilogy up. And be no, they're gonna. And just be, and just well, be no, done Well, no. The, the Game of Thrones guys have already signed on to do their own trilogy. It doesn't matter. They can cancel that. I mean, they they, they, they can cancel. They canceled Ryan Johnson's trilogy. They're, they're, they not, they're not going to because these guys are going to fucking make them $6 billion. You, no, they can cancel it. They, 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 they can, though. But they won't. I mean, how many movies have they signed direct? The fucking Crow just lost, just lost uh, its director and star. Jason Momoa dropped out of the Crow, and that movie's been in development hell for ten years. Good. What do you mean? Leave good? it alone. No, fuck that. If anyone's gonna play the Crow, it's Jason Momoa. Apparently not. Apparently, <laughs> he just dropped out of it. He did. You know why? Because it sucks. No, because the studio keeps interfering. Well, we already know that's a problem. Yeah. It's what stu- studio was doing that, by the way? Uh, Miramax. Miramax was interfering because generally they're pretty uh, yeah, they're loosey-goosey. Pretty with... no, not since Harvey Weinstein got busted bon- boning, boning actresses. I don't think he was boning them. Well, he was forcing them to bone. Yeah. It so still counts a... as boning. It is. Oh. It's just not, you know, Since consensual. he forced himself onto those women. It's just not consensual, and it's but... wrong. Harvey Weinstein, you were wrong. Yeah, I, I will concede to both of you. It's wrong, but there is still a P to the V. Yeah, it, no, he's right. There's P to the V. And Chasing Amy had this whole conversation about, about, about losing your virginity. And, and and it was brought up is rape if you if you rape a woman does she lose her virginity and Matt Damon or Ben Affleck was like well yeah and he, she's like that's not the conventional term for making love so yeah fair it enough counts. it's wrong and you should you should be castrated or at least put to death mm, no castration I'm all about putting people to death that's too easy death penalty is is, is honestly oh too easy God, sometimes it's so gratifying let's talk about how many people you've killed in your life. Well, let me tell you, Roger, you don't talk about that on the air. <laughs> um, no, but with, with with a death penalty, okay, so let's say you have this person that's just a complete menace to society, is dangerous to everybody around him, and uh, you're going to continue to either pay to keep this person alive. I don't want to have this conversation. It's going to get too political. That doesn't have to get political. It's going to get I'm political because about... now you're talking about capital punishment versus non-capital punishment. The state. Should... Or why don't why don't you just give them over to the people and let the people have their way with them? Because then you have vigilante justice and where society. That's not that's, that's not vigilante justice if it's the if it is the uh, the process by which no no we... no not Batman. You both know the solution. Dictate punishment. No. Let's escape to L.A. We just make a giant island. We'll just dump them all there. They tried that. And they it's called their own Australia. Country. Right. Yeah. They yeah, yeah. Their own country. And well, now, that worked out pretty well for humanity, let's be honest. I mean, except everything in Australia will fucking kill you. And everything there is beautiful. Did exactly. You see, did you see that fucking video of that guy that tricked his friend with the remote control crocodile? 
No. No, but I need to. So he like, like the video when it first hit the internet, everyone thought it was real. And it's this guy sw- like this guy's terrified swimming away from the crocodile this this, this crocodile in the water. Oh, and, and then the other guy drops, drops an elbow on it. Elbow I did see that one. It. it comes out that that's that was a remote control alligator and his friend was pissed. That's hysterical. <sighs> Dude, I had a snake chase my boat the other day. Yeah. It fucking I pissed myself. Actually? Like almost. So No, we... no, hold on. Fuck Go off. on. Go on. So it was me and Justin. We were fishing. So there's right. a collaborator to the story, right. so we can yeah, confirm so, it. Yeah, so we can confirm this. Uh, if he can, if he's intelligent enough to speak, we were in the boat. He's not. We were we were in the boat, and he had a little trolling motor, and we're just fishing, we're fishing, we're fishing, we're fishing. And I go, "Hey, you need to move the boat. There's a snake coming." He's like, "What?" I'm like, "Move the fucking boat. There's a snake." Because you know me, and now I'm like, "Hey, there's a fucking snake coming. Move the damn boat." So he goes and gets on the boat, and the goddamn snake follows us, just fucking following us. That's awesome. No, no, there's I no reason for that. I would have taken pictures. There's no reason for that snake to follow us. It yeah, there was. To, yeah, it wanted you to eat look my delicious. Soul. It wanted to eat my soul. It you don't knew. have one. It was like, oh, that's that fucking Roger guy. We have to eat his soul. There he is. There he Get is. Get him. And he did. He fucking followed us halfway across that fucking lake. And I'm just like, are we good? I'm like, no, he's still coming. He's still coming. All Guys right. are on the bank. I, I need you to beach this thing. Fucking people are on the bank laughing at us because I'm like, you know, <laughs> being me when a snake's around. Fucking snakes. So we, uh, we were on the river. You lost your wedding ring. I did. Um, after only three days. After 48 hey, hours. Hey, listeners, is that a sign? <laughs> we just want to know. Chris doesn't think it's it is. It's not a sign. It's a sign. Is that one of those things we should comment on? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. On the... Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Lo- is losing let's, your wedding ring. Let's everybody hours. damn Chris's marriage. <laughs> when, you are, when you are technically in the honeymoon area of the wedding and you lose your wedding ring, <laughs> 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 how does that bode for the marriage? To, to I be, will... Do you think I need to point out the counter argument to that one, and that is she didn't seem upset about it. So, which one's a greater sign? Well, hold on, hold on, because there's more backstory to that. Because this is their second attempt at getting. Oh married. man, no! That, so that <laughs> that is funny, and that is something that her and I talked about. All right, so we'll fucking we'll tell the story real fast. So hold on, I marry them. Yeah. In my living room, I marry Chris and his bride, and we're like, "Hey, this is cool. We've got he, like a day left." He calls me on fucking Friday and goes, "Hey, can you marry me on Sunday?" Before we record, I'm like, yeah, whatever, sure. So we, we 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 marry them. I marry them. It's his mom, Tara, the kids. You know, Courtney's there. We had uh, Jason as a witness, and uh, we sign all the paperwork. And Courtney goes to mail the paperwork off like the next day, and she's like, hey, you realize that this is out of date? So their wedding was null and void. Yeah. So so first so first sign is expired wedding license. Second sign. 48 days, 48 hours. Hours. 48 hours. Because after a month, okay, you can lose the wedding ring. 48 hours, <laughs> the wedding ring's gone. Although, I just realized something. Huh. Yes, Why don't you tell the... Uh, no, not so much that. Oh, okay. Why don't you tell the listeners what exactly your wedding ring was that you lost in the river? The one ring. Which is even more of a dooming sign, because the only way that ring can be destroyed is in the fucking volcano mountain doom. Well, I was just thinking he's going to have to start hunting down some hobbits because that's yeah. who's going to find that thing for him. You need to get your precious back, Chris. I need to get my precious back. <laughs> like, that's the new thing now. Fuck getting a new wedding ring because you can't do that. <laughs> Fuck that. You need to go back to the river and hunt your precious. Oh, God. Until your hair falls out. Oh, my God. You kind of look like the golem now. Yeah. Scratching your ear. My precious. So I think that's it. That's the only way to make to, to right this ship, Chris, is to go find your wedding mm. ring like the golem. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's definitely it right there. Um. I mean, hell, I couldn't marry you. So the judge does it, and uh, you lose the wedding ring. Now you have to go fucking golem on it. So the judge does it. It's, oh, my God. I'm going to stab you to death. That's what happened. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. But you lo- you lost it 48 hours later. You're precious. Yeah. You're, you're one ring. It's a ring. It's, no, it's the one ring. It's not. It's a ring. It's not like you can replace the one ring, Chris. There's only one of them. You know what? Now I've got to get it tattooed on me. Thanks, that's Roger. That's even worse. Thanks, Roger. That's even worse. No, that's what's uh, painful. And needles are involved. Needles freak me out, too. But <laughs> she, that, Well, that's something that she's wanted to do. Um, and she's been like, hey, why don't we just get our wedding rings tattooed? And I'm like, I don't have any tattoos, and I don't really want any. No, Chris's body's a temple. Well, I just don't want any. Like, at this point, I feel like I'm more rebellious by not having them because everybody has one. You could be even more outside the box. This is 2018. We can tattoo your wedding ring into your body. Yeah, let's just put a microchip in you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Let's fucking, <laughs> let's put two microchips in me in case one is faulty. <laughs> like, like, let's put matching microchips in you and Tara. Oh, my God, yeah. 
Hey, where are you at? I'm tracking your fucking <laughs> microchip. Hey, by the way, will you pay for milk with that? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do that. I think that's a better idea. And we'll just have this little seed implanted oh in my God. finger. Oh, my God. Could you imagine, like, okay, so you do, so everyone, like, now that's the new wedding thing is you all get matching microchips, right? And when you're, like, next to each other, you're by each other, they, they light up because that's romantic. Imagine how painful that divorce is going to be because they got to rip that shit out. Yeah, well, it would be, I think it would be one of those things, like, all right, um, let's put it on your ring finger. Let's yeah, just put it yeah. just under just the skin cool. there, and then you got to go get a minor surgery to have that grain of rice removed. I right. think that's just a race till somebody actually cuts it out in the middle of the courtroom. Mm. <laughs> oh, dude, somebody would fucking do it on their own. They'd be like, "Fuck this person!" Like, like in the middle, like you just like that's how you initiate divorce. Now you just cut your ring finger off and throw it at your partner. That's it. Sounds like a fucking Japanese custom that samurai <laughs> used to practice. I'm done being married to you. Smash. <laughs> Bonk. Oh my God! That's that that. Chuck the finger at him. Like, like that, that's fucking commitment. That is commitment beast. To, to 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 the ending of this of, of this union. It's no longer oh I cheated or it's or it's we're having financial problems or we're fighting a lot. It's I don't want to be with you so much. I will mutilate my fucking finger to make sure this <laughs> marriage is over. I don't need full use of this hand. And now, now no one has to ask. Have you ever been married? The evidence is right there. <laughs> what do you do the next time you go to get married? You don't get to get married again. You don't. Because, well, no, you get the other ring finger. You just well, go do it the like the you know, you know the best part is you're <laughs> always doing the you're fucking shocker. You always got the shocker. Two they'll, be the like, thing, one the I, they'll be like, you know what? He's shocker, so he's been married. He puts out. <laughs> So we have a new way for divorce now. That's that's awesome. You guys are welcome. I think I, I think though, if you cut your finger off to symbolize divorce, there'd be a lot less divorces. No, oh, yeah. People would be like, well, wait a minute. Do I need to cut? Yeah, no, because everybody'd be a total wuss about it, and they'd be like, no, I'm not gonna cut my finger off just because I want to leave the person that I said I would be with for forever. But when you do it, you know you're serious. Oh yeah. Yeah, like like I think that yeah, I'm in. So here's a question I want to like legally set some legal precedents here. All right. So you're the wife and your husband's cheating on you. He's pulling a Harvey Weinstein on you. All right. Oh, that's even worse. Than yeah, yeah. All right. So in the divorce, are you allowed to cut off his finger? Good question. Ooh. And to that, I say in a medical environment, like in a controlled environment, yes. Yeah, not you can't saw it. You can't be. You all can't that. fucking do it while he's sleeping with hedge trimmers yeah, that's, or anything that's, that's like too, that. That's, that's too fucked. Lorena Bobbitt. You know. um, well, hold on. Why is it that the only only the guy's losing his finger? No, it could happen. Well, it could go both. I mean, both ways. Still, uh, we got gender equality. Can go yeah, both ways. Yeah. She wants to get divorced. Her finger's gone too. Fine, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get to keep a finger. You don't. Do you get to keep yours at that point? Because you're still going through with the divorce. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So both with both, both parties. of you, yeah. It, you would just have the satisfaction of surgically <laughs> removing her finger. I got to say, I think if it was me, I would be like, fuck this finger. <laughs> I am done with this thing. I mean, I mean, if you're to the point in your marriage where, that, where that's a thing and you're like, I'm out, I'm out, no matter what, I'm out. And taking a finger is taking a finger, I guess. You guess. Do, you, do you really use the ring finger for anything? I actually do when I climb. Yeah, yeah, I think the ring finger is actually kind of important. It's an is important it? finger, yeah. Is it? For what? Well, I, mean, I think grip well, stability and it, things like that. I don't... Yeah, you've got actually your middle finger and ring finger are stronger at grabbing than your middle finger and index I finger. I, I don't grab a lot. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm just going practical now. Do like you I do pull-ups? No. Well, Roger would be fine. You know what, Courtney? Leave his ass. Fucking cut that fucking cut finger, that finger off. off. I'll be fine. No, I don't do pull-ups. When I go to the gym, I don't do pull-ups. And doing pull-ups at the gym now are pussy-fied. Because they got that little machine, that, that the assist machine. Yeah, that's if you're a total wuss. How do they assist with pull-ups? Uh, like, well, so, you get a vagina and whoa, you whoa, plant whoa, it. Whoa, well, I mean, whoa. I will agree to that one, but I just don't know how the mechanic would work. I, I other so, than, like, it just pushes you up like there's a jack yeah. underneath it. No, that's kind of how it is. So, so, so you sit or you kneel on this platform and you adjust the weights. That, that when you pull up, the amount of pressure or resistance you put lifts you up as well. So it's not a, it's, it's an assisted pull-up. What the pull fuck? Up. It's an assisted pull-up. It's not a free-form just... This is so, so does that kind of mean like I do pull-ups or uh, sit-ups every night because I get out of bed? Remember when you, remember when you were a kid? Yeah, and, it's, and, it's the fucking participation trophy of workout equipment. Yeah. Remember when you were the kid and you do the push-up pull-ups like this and the, and, the, and, the, and the gym coach would laugh at you, tell you you're doing it wrong because they made you do it like this? This machine just lets you do pull-ups like this. No, because I pee standing up, so I always did it the right way. Okay, time out. One is called pull-ups, one is called chin-ups. They're two different workouts, and they actually work your body out in different ways. So before you guys get all holier than now there, because I generally do overhand pull-ups. That's a pull-up. 
this is a chin up if you go with the underhanded grip. I guess we never did chin ups there. Um, so with chin ups, you're getting more of a bicep workout. With pull ups, you're getting more of a back workout. I just, okay, I can see that. I just um, use the resistance machines at the gym. Like I do the arm corals and the and the thing a thing and the thing a thing. The butterfly, the bench press. I don't, I don't bench press. I'm, I'm intimidated by the bench press machine. Well, you're using some kind of press machine to I'm work using your a chest bunch out. Of, and I sit and I do the. <laughs> I mean, we are assuming he works his chest. I do, I do, I do. Like I have, I have three separate days at the gym. There's, there's arm chest day, there's leg day, and then there's the day from hell. I'm glad you don't skip leg day. Fuck no, leg day's leg day's the, leg day is the easiest fucking thing in the world. Everyone says leg day sucks. I rock that shit. I mean, I don't pay for a gym membership because I'm a contractor. So I don't pay for a gym membership either because I'm married. I don't pay for a gym membership because there's a gym in my basement. That's a torture room. So hot. <laughs> um, so, on that note, guys, what do you think is so hot? The torture room or the fucking gym? Uh, I really want to know what you think about our, our new solution for divorce. Oh, yeah. What, how, do you, how do you feel about this finger amputation to leave a spouse? Also, guys, make sure you donate to our D&D &D, D &D for a Cure. Yes, D&D &D for a Cure. Every... every Sent raised on Entertain the Geeky's website will go will go straight to the charity. If you donate at certain levels on, on the webpage, you'll get to pick our characters and what we're playing. Yeah, I mean, basically, here's what we'll do. Um, the first, because uh, we've got a group of five people. So, so the first five, to, well, the first people to donate, uh, we'll, we'll add a caveat here. If someone donates $20, that's a pre-gen character. So whatever. Um, the first person. Not to, healing pre-gen. The first person to vote to, to, to <laughs> donate enough for a made character gets to pick one who plays that character and what they are playing yep first come first serve on that one every cent we raise will go to the charity every cent we raise will be used to allow us to to the advantage of winning this event and if when we pull the rabbit out of our house hat and crush we will raffle off the prizes to you guys yeah everybody who donated will have a chance to, to win get some. to win the raffle prize Hell yeah! I think, I think we'll figure it out to like the more you donate, the more raffle tickets you get. Something yeah, like we'll, that. we'll do so. So it might be for every X uh, amount of dollars. Every five dollars you get a raffle ticket. Yeah, something like that. We'll figure it out. Doesn't matter yet. Um, so guys, are an entry if you will. Go to entertainthegeeky.com. Follow us on all of our social media there. Um, also, dungeon crawl for what, what's the name? Dungeon of crawl for a cure. Dungeon crawl for a cure. Dot com so that you can learn a little more about this awesome charity event. And then uh, while you're at it, check out our sponsor, HeroGearStore.com. And guys, stay geeky.